Hi friends, today I'm going to talk about the COBOL programming language and recently I have been surprised because I have encountered some young COBOL programmers. Now, generally you would think that the concept of young COBOL programmer itself would be an oxymoron, but there are such people. And in fact, nowadays what happens in many cases is that the recruiters, the managers are having great difficulty in finding COBOL programmers. There is no shortage of Python programmers out there, but there are actually a lot of jobs in COBOL and particularly in conversion of COBOL to very modern programming languages such as Go. So in fact, I have seen several people in financial companies, in companies which issue credit cards, in companies which deal with federal government and state governments where COBOL programmers are very sought after. So let us look at this pretty ancient language out there, which is somewhat of a dinosaur but it has survived till today. COBOL actually got started in 1959. Like many things, it came out of the US Department of Defense. And COBOL was one of the languages which was supposed to create a platform for business and different companies out there. Now, interestingly, there are almost 1 billion lines of COBOL code out there. And these are often used by a plethora of companies typically there are 29,000 companies which are using COBOL and 90% of the Fortune 500 companies use COBOL. So these include the big finance companies, the airlines, the government, the retail point of sale type of systems, insurance companies, and so on. So how come this language has survived for such a long time? Now, one of the reasons is that this language was specifically developed for mainframe computers which are still very important in systems which are related to finance. And there are many companies which have made a lot of investment in such computers, specifically IBM and so on. Now, as far as COBOL is concerned, it came out of three different languages. And these languages, which were precursors to COBOL, are Flowmatic, then AMACO and CONTRAN. And these were developed by companies Unisys, Univac and IBM. So, of course, COBOL is translated as the common business oriented language. So that's the full form of COBOL. Now, typically, if you know COBOL, you can get salaries of about $120,000 per year in the US. This is according to the website Zik Recruiter. And also you can get jobs very quickly in compared to or in comparison to jobs in Python and so on. Now let us look at some of the basic statements you have in COBOL. For example, you have statements such as move X to Y, X is greater than Y, add one to X. So you see the prose is very similar to the English language. And one of the things which was popular about COBOL is that it is essentially something which is easy to read in a local sense, but it leads to the creation of somewhat complicated monolithic programs which are difficult to read or understand in a global sense. That is why COBOL programming is not easy to learn. Now, one of the things about COBOL is that it developed completely out of the computer science ecosystem. That is, it had no interaction with universities and so on. So it is something which has come out completely from the company industry business domain. And therefore, many computer science people have a lot of difficulty in learning COBOL. There are a lot of reserved words in COBOL. There are a lot of statements which are not amenable to computer science type of thinking. And therefore, it's actually a language which is very suitable for people who are coming from the business side of the equation, who are coming from even humanities and even from mathematics. So I have encountered people who have expertise in mathematics, who have expertise in business, who are COBOL programmers. Now, one of the things is that if you think of a COBOL programmer, you will generally find people in their age 60s, 70s. And therefore, many of these people are on the verge of retiring. Some of them have already retired. They are collecting their social security. They may also be traveling around the world. So who is going to replace these people? Now, of course, many people think that the COBOL language, which has even been ported to the cloud, should be replaced by some modern language such as Go. But then to replace this, COBOL code, you need people who are conversant in both COBOL and Go. So it's not that you should only know COBOL, but certainly if you are somebody who knows a modern programming language such as Go, such as Rust, such as Python or Java, then it is something where COBOL can actually help you get jobs. So that is something you can keep in mind. 
Now the last big exercise in COBOL was in the Y2K. So you remember during the year 2000, there was a lot of need for programmers who actually adjusted the different software out there to account for the year 2000. And there are a lot of legacy systems in the US federal government also, which use COBOL. Now, many countries around the world which came into the computer science system later, which went directly to the PC mode, they didn't have all these COBOL problems. So this is a problem which is more specific to developed countries. So if you are in developing countries, what may have happened is that the world straight away went to the personal computer, then it straight away went to the cloud. So in those cases, demand for COBOL may not be there, but even in the 2020s, many US government organizations, many US companies feel that there is a huge need for COBOL programmers. And therefore, if you are somebody who wants a job quickly, who wants a job fast, then you can think of adding COBOL to your repertoire of languages. And suddenly, if you are a person coming from the business side of the background, maybe you are somebody who has an H4 or an L2 visa who is looking for a job, then learning COBOL is going to quickly get you the job out there. Because like I said, Many recruiters, many managers are unable to find COBOL programmers. There are a plethora of Python programmers out there, but there is a huge shortage of COBOL programmers.